Are there any other porn milestones that you want to hit, like anal, gangbangs, orgies, <laughs> Well, et you see, funny story. Huh. I thought I did. <clears throat> I thought that, you know, I was like, wow, I'm, you know, pretty deep in this industry. I, I should do the anal, the gangbangs, the DPs, all that kind of stuff. So I actually had a showcase scheduled this year that we were shooting. And it was it was a really awesome opportunity. It was really awesome all around. And my first anal was going to be in it. Mm -hmm. Well, um, a couple of days into shooting, some th I just realized that it's not for me. Like mm. doing anal, more extreme things, all of that. Just it's not for me. I there was a couple of things that happened on set that made me a little skittish about things and kind of like a cat going into water mm -hmm. and then when the day came that i was supposed to be doing my first boy girl anal it just wasn't wasn't good for me it wasn't happening so i ended up um not just me but collectively the director the company owner and me decided to kill the movie mm. and this movie if i would have it's what people dream about getting into the industry. Mm -hmm. Like, if I would have done this movie, I would have been one of the four runners for Female Performer of the Year this year. And knowing that killing the movie was going to mean that I would lose the opportunity to get that title, I still didn't care because it's not me and it's not true to being myself. I'm not an extreme girl. Yeah. Like, I like girl, girl. I like loving, passionate sex. I don't like buttholes being opened and gaping and I don't like being looked at like the tiny little girl that's being destroyed by someone and that's just not my vibe and even though I've been in the industry 14 years like this was a really good opportunity and stuff I was there and I had the biggest pit feeling in my stomach people could tell that during makeup I was like not having it. I was talking to the director being like, I don't think I can do this. And I, it came to that I didn't do it. And I have decided now through that experience that, um, just anal gang bangs, all that just not for me. Like I'm really good at being passionate and being flirty and teasy, but like, and especially with girls, but I'm just not good at being like destroyed sexually. Yeah. Like it's not for me. Yeah. Well, first I want to commend you for like following your gut instinct and not going through with something that mm -hmm. you were going to be uncomfortable with. Cause that's a hard decision to make. And it I was think really hard, especially when all the crew's there, everyone's there putting yeah. pressure on me. The other talents are there. And like, this was a big deal. Like yeah. it would have definitely been nominated for movie of the year it would have been nominated for showcase it would have been nominated i would have been female performer of the year nominee like no doubt in my mind how do you feel about your decision <laughs> now like i feel really you. good about it yeah. i feel like i listened to my gut and honestly let's be honest like even if i did win like female performer of the year what's gonna happen like i'm gonna have a trophy that sits on a shelf that like what <laughs> That, like, I don't even look at. Yeah, I mean, that also leads like, me to the question, like, I wonder sometimes if a lot of girls feel pressured, like, it sounds like you did, to do these, like, extreme acts in order to win that coveted title of female that's, performer. Of the that's year. where I like, was getting at. You can, like, never get that title unless, like, you do all this crazy shit. Exactly. And honestly, I'm very proud of my Girl Girl Performer of the Year title. Mm -hmm. I worked hard for that. I love girls. I love on them. I'm passionate with them. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of that title. If I got the title for, like, best anal or best gangbang, I wouldn't be as proud of that title because it's not me. Yeah. And it's not what I do. I don't do that in my personal life. It's just not my vibe. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm more of like a sensual lover than yeah. that. And so, yeah, I was I do feel like there was a lot of pressure on me for that being like, you know, you've you've achieved all these milestones. What's one more milestone? Like you can be at the very top. You can be at the tippy top if you do this, this and this. And I was like, okay, yeah. And then while well, I was there, I just had a pit feeling. And then 
just a couple things went wrong on set. And I was like, these things went wrong for a reason because the universe was telling me that this yeah. isn't right. And I'm already feeling like this is wrong. And it's just, yeah, it's not me to be, to do all those things.